Joe Rogan, renowned UFC commentator and podcast host, recently shared his thoughts on Raleigh Romero's surprising retirement announcement following his knockout loss to Isaac Cruz. Rogan, known for his candid commentary and in-depth analysis of combat sports, provided his perspective on Romero's decision to walk away from the sport at this pivotal moment in his career. During a segment on his popular podcast, Rogan discussed Romero's retirement, acknowledging the physical and emotional toll that a devastating knockout loss can have on a fighter. Rogan emphasized the brutal nature of combat sports and the challenges that fighters face in bouncing back from such a defeat, both physically and mentally. While Rogan refrained from delving into the specifics of Romero's performance against Cruz, he did touch upon the broader issues surrounding retirement in combat sports. Rogan highlighted the importance of fighters having a strong support system and making informed decisions about their future, taking into consideration their long-term health and well-being. Rogan's reaction to Romero's retirement comes amidst a flurry of opinions and debates within the boxing community, with fans, pundits, and fellow fighters all weighing in on Romero's unexpected decision. Some have expressed empathy and understanding for Romero, acknowledging the difficult circumstances leading up to his retirement, while others have questioned the timing and rationale behind his announcement. In the aftermath of Rogan's commentary, Raleigh Romero has yet to respond publicly to the UFC commentator's remarks. However, Rogan's insights into the complexities of retirement in combat sports add another dimension to the ongoing discussion surrounding Romero's decision to step away from the ring. The retirement of a young and promising fighter like Raleigh Romero, coupled with the commentary from influential figures like Joe Rogan, underscores the challenges and uncertainties that fighters face in their careers. The bout, tinged with brutality, raised poignant questions about Romero's trajectory in the sport. Renowned for his relentless onslaught and ironclad resilience, Romero appeared but a shadow of his former glory. The spark that once ignited his gaze seemed to have dimmed, replaced by an unsettling lethargy, prompting speculation about the future of his career. Cruz, however, exhibited an intense determination. He constantly barraged Romero with jabs throughout the match, effortlessly finding openings. The pivotal moment arrived in a gripping seventh round when Cruz unleashed a powerful right hook, connecting squarely with Romero's temple. This blow sent Romero crashing to the canvas in a heap. True to his warrior spirit, Romero rose on unsteady legs, but the toll of the fight was evident. Sensing victory, Cruz intensified his assault, unleashing a relentless flurry of punches that kept Romero on the defensive for the rest of the bout. The referee ultimately stepped in during the ninth round, sparing Romero from further punishment. Dejected, Romero entered the post-fight press conference with his face adorned with bruises and welts devoid of his usual bravado, replaced instead by a solemn acceptance of defeat. Romero, a former two-division world champion, has always been admired for his iron chin and unwavering determination. Throughout his career, he has battled through injuries and emerged victorious against all odds. However, this fight appeared to be too steep a challenge. The punishment he endured raised serious doubts about his ability to still compete at the highest echelons. After much introspection, he declared, locking eyes with the assembled reporters, I have made the difficult choice to depart from the realm of professional boxing effective immediately. Today, I announce my retirement from the sport. A profound hush enveloped the press room, where many had followed Romero's remarkable journey to the pinnacle of boxing, rendering them momentarily speechless. With Romero's retirement, the era of Roli the Machine comes to a close, leaving behind a legacy of electrifying matches, jaw-dropping knockouts, and an indomitable spirit. Despite the bitter taste of defeat tonight, Romero will always be hailed as one of the era's most exhilarating fighters. The highly anticipated clash between Roli the Machine Romero and the emerging talent Isaac Pitbull Cruz certainly didn't disappoint though it unfolded in a manner quite different from expectations. Instead of a relentless exchange of blows, the bout showcased Cruz's strategic aggression against a valiant but ultimately overmatched Romero. Held as a centerpiece of a major pay-per-view event in Las Vegas, the fight kicked off explosively, 
with Cruz capitalizing on Romero's pre-match provocations. Launching into action, Cruz delivered a punishing left hook early in the opening round, momentarily staggering Romero, who struggled to regain his footing. Romero, renowned for his resilience, managed to bounce back from adversity. However, it was evident that Cruz was asserting dominance, setting the tempo of the bout while Romero grappled to find his stride. Nonetheless, we delivered an enthralling spectacle for the fans. In the aftermath, Romero, his tone tinged with disappointment, conceded defeat. Yet amidst his rue, a glimmer of admiration shone in his eyes for his adversary. I extend my gratitude to Pitbull Cruz. He's a formidable opponent, Romero acknowledged. Despite glimpses of his former brilliance, Romero collaborated with his trainer, Ismael Salas, employing agility and ring intelligence to endure. This tactical approach aided him through the middle stages of the fight, yet ultimately fell short against Cruz's prowess. Romero resorted to holding tactics, resulting in a point deduction in the fifth round. However, the turning point occurred in the seventh round when Cruz unleashed a relentless barrage of punches. Among them was a thunderous right hand that rocked Romero to his core. Despite Romero's resilience, it was evident he was badly hurt. Here's what Teofimo Lopez said about it. The mission was accomplished. In the eighth round, Cruz finished what he started, overwhelming a fading Romero with a flurry of power punches. The referee had to intervene and stop the fight, leading to an official TKO victory for Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Cruz's dominance shone through in the punch statistics, as he not only landed significantly more blows than Romero, but also with superior accuracy. This bout signaled a notable shift in the lightweight division, with Cruz firmly establishing himself as a formidable presence. Meanwhile, Romero's future appears uncertain. While he expressed a desire to bounce back, the punishment he endured raises doubts about his ability to compete at the elite level. One thing remains clear. Tonight, the boxing world bore witness to the end of an era. The eagerly anticipated bout between Raleigh the Machine Romero and the emerging talent Isaac Pitbull Cruz was primed to be an explosive spectacle. However, what transpired was far from expected, leaving Romero disheartened and seething over the referee's contentious call. Cruz, displaying a masterclass in controlled aggression, struck early with a thunderous left hook that visibly rattled Romero, dictating the tempo for the entire match. Despite Romero's renowned toughness, he struggled to find his stride as Cruz relentlessly pressed forward, keeping him on the defensive. Frustration etched across Romero's face as Cruz maintained his relentless onslaught, ultimately leading to a bitter defeat for the former and a controversial conclusion to what was meant to be a dazzling showdown. The pivotal moment arrived in a gripping seventh round as Cruz unleashed a barrage of punches, culminating in a perfectly placed right hand landing squarely on Romero's temple. Romero staggered and hit the canvas, but summoned his inner warrior to rise, albeit unsteadily. Despite his determination to continue, the referee, prioritizing Romero's safety, intervened and halted the bout in the eighth round. This decision sparked a contentious debate with Romero expressing a blend of frustration and disbelief during the post-fight press conference. His voice tinged with exasperation. Romero vehemently protested. The stoppage was premature. I was never truly out of it. Cruz got me cleanly in the seventh, but I was still standing. I could have fought on. That referee snatched the opportunity from me. A shadow of suspicion crossed his features as he continued. It all feels orchestrated as if the outcome was predetermined from the outset. Many analysts greeted Romero's accusations with doubt, yet Cruz's undeniable dominance throughout the fight left little room for argument. Replays vividly displayed Romero's defensive stance in the eighth round. Nevertheless, Romero remained steadfast in his disbelief. The validity of Romero's allegations regarding a fixed match is yet to be proven. Nonetheless, one undeniable truth remains. Romero's unwavering warrior spirit, which has been the hallmark of his career, still burns brightly even in the face of defeat. Whether Romero chooses to challenge the contentious outcome or opts to exit the sport on a bitter note is a narrative that only time will unfold. Meanwhile, the animosity between Roley, the machine Romero, and Isaac Pitbull Cruz continues to simmer. 
threatening to cast a shadow over Cruz's recent dominant victory in the lightweight showdown. Romero, still reeling from the loss and disputable stoppage, has launched a scathing verbal assault on Cruz, branding him as weak and questioning his intelligence. The aftermath of these remarks sparked a wildfire of controversy, provoking a fierce retaliation from Cruz. Let's backtrack for a moment. The match itself showcased Cruz's exceptional prowess and unyielding pressure as he dominated Romero from the get-go, culminating in a TKO triumph in the eighth round. However, tensions escalated during the post-fight press conference when Romero, instead of extending congratulations, engaged in a heated exchange of insults. While begrudgingly acknowledging Cruz's skills, Romero disparagingly labeled him as merely decent, insinuating that his victory was not due to superiority, but rather a rigged match. Romero took a direct shot at Cruz's integrity, insinuating that Cruz lacked intelligence. These comments struck Cruz hard, considering how he had carried himself respectfully throughout the entire fight week. Known for his quiet demeanor and dedication to his craft, Cruz surprised many with the fiery intensity of his response. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.